Let's pray. Paul writes at the end of 1 Thessalonians, or he prays in fact, may God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful and he will do it. So Lord, our confidence is in you, for, for you are the one who has called us. You are the one who has set us apart to know you and enjoy you. You are the one who keeps us and you will declare us blameless when we face Jesus on that last day. Help us as your people to set our sights on the hope that we have in you as we face difficulties day by day. For those of us facing work at home and schooling children, we pray for energy, patience and wisdom. We pray for those facing sickness, that you would sustain them and that they would find comfort and peace in you. For those not working in our church because of the lockdown, we pray for your provision. And so we pray for wisdom for the elders as they administer the emergency fund for those struggling and wisdom for decisions about the future of meeting as a church post coronavirus. We pray for our government and their advisers as they make decisions about easing the lockdown, revising the furlough scheme, managing the economy and the Brexit negotiations. Father, we pray for compassion and integrity and impartiality as a concern for the disadvantaged and poor to be reflected in policies and practice in the way our negotiation, in the way our nation is governed. And as we hear and see the news about the murder of George Floyd, exposing the darkness of human hearts, we pray for justice for those who have committed this and other crimes. We also pray for courage for your church in America and every nation to denounce racism and injustice, bringing your message of heart transformation, forgiveness and reconciliation through the gospel of Christ crucified. Help us, Lord, to live that message, knowing that we stand forgiven and set free from guilt before a holy God, adopted as children, loved and completely accepted in your family. For your glory, Lord. Amen. As we continue our series in 1 Thessalonians, is a big concern to strengthen the church in Thessalonica. And we want ourselves as Martin Church to be strengthened. So we're going to have God's word read in a moment. Issachar Preston is going to read that to us you might like to um, grab a bible pause it the, the the video if you need to and then matt sherrett is going to preach god's word to us from that passage in 1 thessalonians and chapter 3 and before we do that we're gonna we're gonna sing a song and focusing our eyes on the cross all that means for now and for our future hope as we look at when i survey the wondrous cross and before we come to that song i'm just going to pray for us let's pray together Father in heaven, we want to thank you that you've given us your words and given us your spirit to strengthen us and build us up. And so we pray now that as your word is read and preached, you would do just that. Help us to grasp these truths, use them to strengthen us, delight our hearts in them, give us strength to endure now, looking forward to the future hope that we have in Christ. Please speak to us now, we pray. Help us to remember what we've learned and put it into action in Jesus' name. Amen.